What's up everybody, Pumpkin here. So I have a deck today, it's a hyper thin Nilfgaard deck. Um, this type of deck hasn't really seen play in, well, in a very long time. Um, before Homecoming, there was a hyper thin Squaytail deck that I really enjoyed. Uh, but ever since Homecoming, there's really never been a reason to hyper thin. Uh, typically, if you're hyper thinning, it means you're playing everything. Uh, and if you're playing all your bronzes, that's not usually ideal. So usually the thinning is not uh, necessary. Uh, but in this case, the thinning is very much necessary. Uh, props to Red Rain for coming up with the list. I love it. It's great. It brings back so many fond memories. Um, yeah, we'll get right into it. So the leader is Calvite. Um, there is another version of this deck that I will be showing uh, immediately after. Uh, but for this particular one, we have Calvite. So I'll explain the general game plan with this deck. Uh, as the name implies, we are hyper thinning. We want to thin our deck very aggressively, very quickly. Not necessarily very quickly, but we do need to get it done uh, by the end of the game. Um, so this deck can thin to zero, does thin every single card out of the deck. And the reason why that's important is because we have cards like Zarsithius. Uh, this card reveals a random card in your deck. If it's a unit, boost self by its power. Now, the importance of this is, well, if you only have one unit in your deck, that unit being Tibor, a 13-point unit, uh, Zarsithius is an 18-point play. That's pretty good. Um, we also have Yennefer Divination, which is reveal a card in your deck, and if it's a unit, or when it's a unit, it can only reveal units, uh, boost an ally by its power. And once again, if only Tibor is in your deck, you're revealing a 13, and this becomes a 16-point play, which is very, very strong. Um, and last but not least, we have Vilgaforts, which allows you to sack one of your units and pull a card out of your deck. Uh, and if the only unit left in your deck is Tibor, well, you can kill like a 1, 2, 3, 4, and then pull out a 13-point Tibor really good so those are your three super power plays for this deck uh that's typically what you're going to be looking to do you want to thin out your deck in round one two and three and by the end of round three you're looking to play zarthisius yennefer and vilgaforts vilgaforts being the last one because you're going to actually be pulling tibor out of the deck and so cards like yennefer and zarthisius will no longer be getting value so it's very important to be playing him uh towards the end uh the only exception would be if you play him on the melee row because you're destroying one of your opponent's units yeah um do note, Zarthisius is reveal a card. So if you have a unit and a special in the deck, uh, you have a chance to reveal the special, which is bad because if you reveal that special, uh, you will not be getting plus 13. You will be getting whatever that special is. So um, this deck thins to zero. The reason Calvi is in the deck is not because he's like a combo card or anything, but simply because you need that one extra thin. Uh, and towards the end of the game, uh, you thin out whatever is not Tibor. So a lot of the times my last card is something like an ointment. I'll play Calvite, I'll thin the ointment out, uh, and then I'll start going off on my big combo plays. So starting from the top, we have Portal. This is obviously a very good thin card. Our Portal targets are Nausicaa Sergeant and Fire Scorpion, two very strong engines after the buff. Um, yep. So this is the type of card you're looking to play in round one. Um, I almost always play it in round one. The only times I don't play it in round one is when I don't draw it in round one. Uh, otherwise, I almost always play it. Uh, Roach, obviously very good for thinning. Tibor. Uh, you never want this in your hand. If you have this in your hand, it means you can't get value out of uh, these other three cards right here. So it's very important that Tibor is not in your hand. Now, with that said, I usually always mulligan it away. Now, if your mulligans are really bad, that being such as maybe you drew all four of the uh, four provision units for your portal. Maybe you drew a Roach. Maybe you drew an Impera Brigade. All right. Tibor in round one is not the highest priority to uh, mulligan. You just need to have them in your deck before round three or by the time round three comes along, um, with the exception of playing against Nilfgaard. If you're playing against Nilfgaard, you need to mulligan him because there's this card called Shieldard, which reduces a unit down to one, uh, and that's pretty bad. If they Shieldard your T-board, you lose. So, yeah, if you queue into Nilfgaard, this is a very high priority to be mulliganing into your deck. Zarthisius, talked about him a little earlier. Very strong card. Very good with Tibor. Uh, do note, it can pull a special too. So if you do have an ointment in your deck and you have a T-Boy in your deck and you play Zarthisius, you have a 50% shot of hitting that ointment. So make sure to thin first before playing this. Uh, I will say sometimes things go south and you just don't get all the thinning. An example would be maybe Menno is still in your deck, Marching Orders is still in your deck, Portal is still in your deck, and you're in round three, right? Typically you want to thin all those out before round three, but sometimes it just doesn't work that way. So sometimes you do have to take risks, and that's the type of thing where... You, you just have to balance it out, figure out what's the highest chance of getting the most points. Um, I'm not really going to get too much into that because 
It depends on the game, depends on the situation. I will say uh, for Mirrors, Cynthia, if this deck becomes popular, it's going to be a really, really good card uh, because not only does it put a card into your opponent's deck, uh, it messes, it's a really small unit, right? The uh, Guardian is a three. So like if you reveal a three with any of these three cards, it's really bad. So uh, if this start deck starts seeing a ton of play, you might actually start running Cynthia and it's not that hard to fit in. You just cut the spheres, put the Cynthia in. Uh, also uh, Infiltrator is quite good against this deck because it's an additional card in your deck that you don't want because this deck does thin to zero. If your opponent plays an Infiltrator and you don't kill it, well, now you have a four in your deck and that's kind of unfortunate. The way I would go about that is you do actually want to draw it uh, and then you leave a special in your deck such as Ointment. Uh, this way, when you play Yennefer and your Vilgefortz, you're still guaranteed to hit a unit because it can only hit units, uh, even though you might have like an ointment and a T-boy. And the Zarthesius, you're just going to have to take a 50-50. Hope for the best. Uh, Vilgefortz, you can play this offensively. Sometimes I do. Um, depends on the game. Yeah, but typically you want to play this as your final last card in round three. Uh, kill your smallest unit uh, and then pull out your T-boy. Yennefer. Obviously, we talked about this card. Very good with T-Bar. Marching Orders. Um, Marching Orders is a great card because it adds consistency thinning. Um, this deck thins eight cards, and then Calvi for the ninth. Nine is how you thin to zero. Marching Orders is very good because it hits two key cards, one being Meno, so you can thin more cards out. But more importantly, Vigo. Uh, I suppose we'll skip to Vigo now. Vigo is create and play a one-power copy bronze unit from your starting deck. Now, we only play three bronzes that are units. Those being the Nausicaa Sergeant, Fire Scorpion, and the Empire Brigade. Uh, you never want to pull these. You always want to pull the Brigade. Uh, a little fun combo is if you have two of these in your deck and you play Vigo into Brigade, it actually pulls two Brigades out of your deck, uh, which allows you to thin for two, which is how we get such high thinning. So that's very important. Your most important mulligans are to mulligan your Brigades away uh, so that when you do play the Vigo, you get the guarantee thin two out of your deck. So very, very important. You never want to be playing a Brigade from your hand, ever. Um, a Sire. This is a good play. Um, if you're getting Bled or a proactive play in round three, a Sire into Roach is quite strong. Uh, you never want to put anything else into your deck, unlike other Nilfgaard decks that sometimes put in such a, like a muzzle or something so that you can menu it out again. You never want to do that because you're adding cards to your deck and you don't want to do that, right? So if your opponents steal your Roach or they banish your Roach, make sure to play this on the melee row because you don't want to accidentally have to put a unit into your deck. Even if it's a gold card, you don't want to do that because you're lowering the chances for the uh, the T-board combo. So that, that's very important to keep in mind. Hefty Helgi, this card is insane. Like absolutely broken in round one. You draw this thing, you play it, they can't kill it, you win the round. Um... Doing two damage every turn because you have a bunch of tactics is crazy. This card is phenomenal. One of the one of the better cards in the deck. Um, I will say, if for whatever reason you want to play muzzle or a stronger card and you want to rotate some cards out, these are going to be the three cards that you can kind of move around. Uh, do keep in mind, you don't want to really be adding bronze units to the deck because Vigo shows you three different cards, and the three cards are these three right here. Um, if you add another bronze into the deck, then it's no longer guaranteed to hit that brigade. And if you miss that brigade, you're losing a thin and you're losing consistency, right? The reason why these three cards are so good is because assuming you don't mess up your thinning and assuming you draw decently, you thin to zero and these aren't, oh, I hope I reveal Tibor. It's I will reveal Tibor and it's an 18 point play, right? So the consistency is there and that, that's why... Uh, it, it's super, super important to not really add any more uh, bronze units to the deck. Um, Sweers, it's a good card. It can be a little tricky to find threes, but with the uh, Fire Scorpions and your other damaging card, it's usually not too hard. Granted, once again, if this deck starts seeing a good chunk of play and you want to counter, I would suggest putting uh, replacing Sweers with Cynthia, because Cynthia is really, really good in the mirror. Meno, good to do. Uh, sorry. Good thinning, uh, can pull out marching orders. Typically in round one, what you're looking to do is play Portal and play Vigo. Uh, those are your two highest concerns because you A, thin out two cards with Portal, you thin out your Roach, Meno thins out a card, uh, but more importantly, you get Vigo out. Vigo allows you to find those brigades. You really want to get those brigades out in round one. And it's a very, very high tempo play. Uh, Vigo, we talked about a little earlier. You always want to be playing this on brigades. Uh, Experimental Remedy. This card is a tactic now. It's pretty decent. You have to play this because you need to be playing bronze special. And for the most part, it's actually quite good just because uh, a lot of bronze engines are pretty good now. So 
This usually gets good value. If you want to switch this for a different bronze special, you're more than welcome to. Impera Brigade, we talked about this a little earlier. Very important for your thinning. This actually thins two cards if you use it with Vigo, which you always should be doing. Um, so yeah, good card. Very proactive play with Vigo. Uh, Imperial Diplomacy. Diplomacy, sorry. Uh, good card. It's a bronze. Um, they're not the best cards in the world. There are obviously better bronze units than these cards right here. But the thing is, the consistency on Vigo is of the utmost importance, which means you have to play specials for your bronzes uh, outside of these uh, three different bronzes. So you don't really have a choice. So uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, it is a tactic, so it has extra value with your Fire Scorpion and your Hefty Helgi. Uh, assassination, great removal tactic. Uh, ointment, kind of a weird card. You don't really see this very often. It's not even a, a tactic card, but it's really the only uh, playable 4P card outside of Tourney Joust. Uh, that's a special. Um... So the cute thing with this is when you play Vigo, your Impera Brigades, uh, the first one you play is going to be damaged, going to be at one strength. So if you have Ointment in your hand, you can heal it first, three, and then boost it to four, which makes it a six-point play for four, which is pretty good. Um, sometimes that won't happen because you'll draw this later on in the round that you're not playing Brigades, in which case you just play this as four. Sure, it's fine. It's not the best thing ever, but you have to do it. You don't really have a choice. Uh, Tourney Joust, great removal, four damage. Uh, great in the mirror matches because they'll play Hefty Huggy, and this will kill it, which is really strong. Fire Scorpion, Fire Scorpion and Nausicaa Sergeant are your 4P bronzes so that you uh, have targets for your portal. Yeah, so basic game plan of this deck, thin. Thin your deck. Um, once again, in round one, you're looking to get Vigo on the board. That's probably higher, highest priority. The portal isn't as high of a priority, but if you get the portal, make sure you have at least two fours in your deck. No, remember, you have four total, so if you have two in your hand, it's okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you a different variant of this deck. The entire concept is still the same, just a different leader. Uh, it's Ardle. Uh, because we are using so many tactics, we can actually get Ardle to steal a five. Um, and because Calvi is typically used to simply thin out a card, which sometimes is like a garbage four-point uh, ointment, um, we can upgrade our leader to Ardle. Um, granted, with that, you do have one less thin because your leader is no longer thinning anymore. So you have a little bit more points. You have a 10-point swing card slash uh, removal because you can uh, steal your opponent's engine. Um, but you are losing a thin. And so you have to make up for that by running Roderick. Uh, Roderick's a good card. The downside of Roderick is he is two strength. Uh, he would actually be a better card if he was a three because not only A, he wouldn't interfere with your marching orders, but B, he would be a serious target. So that would actually be a buff if he was three strength. Whatever. Um, he's a two. He can be a little awkward. The reason he can be awkward is if you play this and you get extremely unlucky and you see exactly like Tibor Zarthus, see it. it. Basically, you see any of these four cards and you see two of the four, then it's awkward because typically you never want to play any of these in round one. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Uh, it, it does make playing the deck a little bit more difficult, but the reality is you're adding more points to your deck. Um, having a 10-point leader is much better than like a 4-point leader that you're playing in round 3 just for thinning. Um, you get to steal your opponent's engines, which is never a bad thing. And it can add consistency. This card can hit portal. Just remember that marching orders can hit that. So keep that in mind. Um, I would say try both of them. I personally think think I like the Ardle one uh, the most. I haven't, I probably played a little bit more Calvite because I, I switched to this variant a little later on. Um, I'm going to show you games of both just so that you can kind of get a feel uh, for, for both. I think I'll probably have like three games, uh, two of one, one of the other. So uh, yeah, highly, highly suggest you guys try it out. It's a very different take on Nilfgaard. So this isn't really like a new concept, like thinning your deck and then playing reveal cards with Tibor. Uh, there's actually another card that can um, benefit off of having T-Boy in your deck, and that is Triss Marigold. The problem is it does damage, and typically your opponent doesn't have 13-point bodies on the board for you to get full value out of, which is why it doesn't really make the cut, uh, and you don't really have room for it. You'd have to be cutting cards that are typically better, which is not really worth it. So, uh, yeah, this one's going to be overall a little better. Um, you, you will have some gimmicky turns or some weird turns with Roderick, Roderick, but if you plan it out, you can usually get around it. Uh, I haven't gotten screwed over by the card yet. Eventually it will happen, but I guess we'll wait for that day. Um, yeah, it's a really fun hyper thin. It's different than the typical Nilfgaard list. Typical Nilfgaard lists are either super heavy on soldiers where you play a ton of them and then you play Ream D and buff all of them. Uh, or you're playing like a mid-range deck and this is neither. This is basically 
point slam in round one because of all your thinning. You get your your scorpions out with your portal. Uh, you get your roach out, and then you have a large tempo play with Figo into your brigade. And then you're playing like r the removal game. You go into round two. Oh, I guess I should mention, I sometimes lead with this deck. While this deck has a very, very, very strong finisher, if you're playing a 10 card round, the first seven cards you're playing not, are not necessarily the best if you queue into maybe a Northern Realms list. Uh, their engines might overpower you and win that way, so do keep that in mind. Um, what I typically do is I, I'll, I'll bleed a little bit in round two, especially if I didn't play portal in round one. I'll probably open round two up with a portal. I'll play like an Assire. Maybe I'll play Roderick, try to thin a gold out of my deck, uh, just so that my top decks are a little bit more consistent in round three and I'm not banking on good draws. Um, and I can force out an engine or two out of my opponent so that my round three is a little better against them because your explosive round is just always going to be better. Um, you don't have to win round one. Yes, this deck can get bled, but you have some pretty powerful plays, especially with a Sire. Um, I haven't had too much trouble getting bled in round two. I will say, if you're playing against Ethne, though, you do want to win round one. This is because they could be playing Gigni or Scorch, and you're playing three very tall units. You're playing an 18, a 13, and then you're boosting something plus 13. So you're looking at like a 15 or 16. So, um,. If they have Ethne pings, which they probably do because they're playing Ethne, uh, they can get off a really large Scorch. So uh, if you're playing against Ethne, you're going to want to try to win round one so that you don't get blown out by Scorch. So do keep that in mind. But otherwise, really fun deck. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay from the uh, upcoming games, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I mean, I'm assuming you're thinning everything in round one. Like, you're not saving portal for round three. I mean, I, I suppose you could. Okay, well, this is pretty easy. He was talking to me, not you. Oh, I apologize. Portal slam is hitting. I don't know. We should probably play this. We need to kill those. Because nobody runs four damage. Like, four da like, this is impossible to kill. Like, muzzle. Like, it puts your opponent on muzzle. If they don't have muzzle, this thing ain't dying. It's cute. Unkillable because Geralt can't kill this. It's just an incredible machine. I don't know, we just keep killing, right? I don't know, maybe we should get these down. But I want to just kill these Thrives immediately, I think. This card's insane. Holy shit. Okay, now we can start thinning. <laughs> I mean, we can save this, right? So this is highest priority. We need to get the brigades out now. We don't have to play Portal. Like, we can play it in round two. Yeah, but we're never bleeding, are we? I mean, it's not even bad in round three, is it? Yeah, it's guaranteed brigade. You can't miss. Okay, I guess we're going to need the Portal value now. Take a pass. It's fine. So big. We want these dead so we can remedy. <laughs> this guy's going hammerino. Uh, math is hard? Question mark. Two, three, four, five. Should be enough.
Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho almost ping my own unit. Hmm. Can we keep up with this? Seven. Oh technically wait, does it steal it? No, it's wait. Does it steal it? I don't know. Like we wanna do it on one of these. And if it steals, it's better to take Griffin. Uh, so it's seven points. This is four. It's 11, 12, 13. Puts me at 41. Yeah, we should be fine. It steals? All right. Sounds good. My prescription. Saves one point later. Bad against Gigni, but I'd be very surprised if he was playing Gigni. We can take tall. Well, we can't actually take tall because of this. <laughs> well, we had a roach, but we threw him away. What? Oh, this is a ranged card? I didn't know that. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, whatever. Doesn't matter. Almost messed up. No, because I literally need it. I get four points off of my uh, thingy plus uh, the Vigo, so I could literally play a zero. Uh... We don't want Tibor, I'm assuming. I mean, we want all of these. I guess we're keeping everything. I am not bleeding. Update deck. Yeah, but it's not my deck A and B. If I update deck every time I play a new deck, we'll be here forever. Tourney Joss can kill Helgi. Yeah, but so can Muzzle, right? So against Nilfgaard, Helgi is an OP, but like everything except Nilfgaard slash Muzzle. Okay, so we don't want Tibor. Okay, so Emo rips this, and then it's guaranteed double proc after we pull the Ointy out. All right, so it looks perfect to me. So we play Menno, we rip this, and then we have to play Leader for this, and then we're good. And it's a full thin. Isn't this my only soldier? Oh, it's boost any unit. My question is, is do I go ahead and boost this? I think I lead her now, just so that it doesn't die to like crone damage. Tibor soldier. Yeah, but I don't need to boost it. It just plays around removal. Saves me a few points. Like, he's not going to play Geralt. And the reality is, even if he does play Geralt, I don't care. Because it means he's not Geralting my big cards. Wait, this deck is insane. This is a 16, this is an 18. That seems pretty good. Oh, it's a different trap. <laughs> <laughs> Seems okay. This used to be an ST stream. Cyclo8, thank you so much for the 12 months. Welcome back, mate. Thanks, lad. You best yield now. <laughs> I should just kill this because I feel bad, but I want all the points, so... An interesting <laughs> okay. Uh, 
uh, yeah, seems decent. Oh no! I shall not repeat ah. any of your stakes. Okay, so there's only one problem. It, it's it. No, 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 no. It's not ruined. It's not ruined. So we can't thin to zero. But as long as it's a special, it the like it doesn't matter because this is guaranteed, and Vilgaforts can only pull units. Right, and those are two of the main combos. The third combo piece, Zarth, I can't control. The Zarth is a 50-50. But other than that, it's fine. Ah. Does Meno even have a target? Yeah, plenty. Uh, I don't want to touch anything, I don't think. Meno M.O. Meno M.O. Aye, aye, aye. Or just ammo naked. Cantarella? Usurper Cantarella? It's not very likely. But yeah, it is possible, I suppose. <laughs> this deck is so good. And the fact that you can make it super consistent is insane. Is Calanthe strictly better Juan? I mean, yeah, I guess. Have we discovered a fun Nilfgaard deck? Well, I didn't discover it. Red Rain discovered it, but it is definitely a fun deck. Oh, I thought he was playing Monsters because I saw Regis and he played a Nausicaa and I was very... I was... I didn't know what was happening. Like, the Guarantee Brigade is just not so... Oh, this isn't tactic. I would I would pull this out with with Meno if I could, but I can't. That kind of sucks. Come on, stalkers. We ride. Play around Meno. If he has Leo, I can pass. That's only 13. This standing needs some thinking. Um, if I play this game five times, I can play it in seasonal perfectly. It only takes five games to learn a deck perfectly. How does the combo with Yen work? So the idea is you thin your deck to zero, and then when you play Yen, it can only hit one unit, and that one unit being Tibor. So it's 100%. And then Zarth also hits it. Uh, okay. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. This is where it starts to get awkward, because you don't want to draw these combo pieces. So we have two combo pieces that we can't play, which is kind of bad. This is bricked. Menno is pulling assassination, I suppose is fine. Nothing will stop us. I could try to kill this, but I'd have to put assassination and tourney joust into it, and that feels really bad. How do you thin to one card? I mean the deck has insane thinning, so like you have Menno for thin, you have Roach for thin, Portal thins too. Uh Vigo is guaranteed brigade because there's only three bronze units, so two more thin on the brigade. Calvite thins one. Um, yeah. You only have to thin nine cards. I mean, we can do the counting. Two, three, four, five, six. Marching order is another. Seven. Calvite. Eight. The ninth card is... 
uh, vocal parts. That's nine thin. So with no leader, I can only thin to two. But as long as I put a special in the deck with Tibor, it doesn't matter. Wait a minute. Okay. So I'm gonna say we hard. Okay, never mind. Uh, we actually do have to play a card here. Because we need to thin. So we do need to play one card here. So I'll probably just play the Fire Scorpion. Uh, what are we looking for? We don't want to draw Tibor. Because if we draw Tibor and he smashes it, uh, it goes to one and messes up the whole combo. But we do want to. We do. Ha we have to find the Vogel Forts. Uh, that's a must. If I don't find the Vogel. Okay. If you don't find the Vogel Forts. We just need no units in the deck other than Tibor. So we're good now. Uh, play. Just play Squirp. And we're done. So very simple. Um, all we have to do now is not draw Tibor, which is really easy because we have mulligans. So we're done. Uh, there'll be one special left in the deck, and that's fine. Zarthus has a 50-50 has a to hit that special. Uh, but everything else is 100%. Because Vilgoforce is unit only, and Yen is unit only. So as long as Tibor is the only unit, two of my three activators are 100%, uh, and then the third one is 50-50. All we have to do is not draw Tibor. Yeah, but it's not that hard because you just mulligan it, right? Okay, we got a free gold out. I mean, we could bleed, but we could also just not bleed. Not bleeding sounds better. His deck is tight. Yeah, it's a fun deck. Props to Red Rain. I saw somebody play a similar deck with like Witchers, but it was really janky. This list seems so much better. Bye bye, Roach. Uh, I can't really put a card into my deck. Imagine if he runs Treyhern. Yeah, so Treyhern kind of hard counters this deck. So we drop the Tibor. What's the last card? Sure, I mean, we can keep it. Uh, I guess this is worse. Or this is, yeah, this is worse. So I'd rather the other card. Yeah, so like, so this doesn't matter because we made sure. Like if we did this in round one or two and I had Tibor in hand, it would mess up everything. But that's fine. No infiltrator. Yeah, if he hit infiltrator, I would have had to keep the infiltrator in hand. Can't throw all the counters better. Yeah, but yeah, there's no but. Is this deck good on ladder? Yes. I mean, we're playing it on ladder right now. I think it's good. Uh, if he peters this, it's really good for us. Because it means he's not petering our plus 13. I don't have a lock. But, whatever. Can you run a better leader? Um, I mean, the answer is yes. You could play, like, Marvin, right? But then you don't thin to zero, which means your Zarth is a 50-50. So you're losing 13 power, or, okay, let's say it's, like, four. You're losing nine power on a 50-50 to get a leader. Maybe that's worth it. Maybe Marvin's just better. You just slam six points in round one. Nice. He had damage, which means he can't. Show the deck. I'll show the deck after a game. It's not my deck. It's Red Dreams. Props to him. There it is. Uh, let me just make this a command. Okay, whatever we do, we need to not click that. <laughs> Clicking this is a no-no. <laughs> he 
He banished the roach, so we need to make sure not to click on this either. So we need to play a melee. Yes. What is it? <clears throat> you can still click it? No, because if I draw... T okay, I can draw T more than mulligan it, sure. I suppose. But maybe I get disconnected and then I rope out and then I lose the game. You never know. You gotta play around your, your, your loose con. Oh. I knew that was the shield. <laughs> I did not see the shield. Guys, I'm blind. It's okay. Don't worry about it. 50-50. Good. Guaranteed. You crossed the wrong sorceress. Here comes the big points. You have Leo? It doesn't matter. Oh, Pog. Sack the 14 to 7 to 13. <laughs> this deck is great. I love it. Does this deck brick if you bleed hard? I mean... If you don't win round one and they push you round two, you're going to have to take, like... Well, you play all your other cards, and then if they keep bleeding you, you might have to play, like, uh... Bad cards. Or, like, you might have to play your combo pieces and just high roll. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe the sex. But, like, the idea is if you hit portal, it doesn't matter. And, like, the amount of tempo you get off of brigades and, like, Vigos... V whatever it's called is insane. Um... Two bricks. Brigade and Roach. Now nah, we'll be fine. My great granddaughter Come on, stalkers. We ride. Thanks, mate. You share the deck? Yeah, it's a command. It's not mine. It's uh, Red Rames. Here you go. Time I close my eyes. Show playlist. Go to YouTube and type in Lana Del Rey. I love to see it. Dude, there's so many fun decks to play in Gwent right now. Like, the fact that Kalanthi is viable is awesome. Okay, how many points is this? We're down six. We're going to go up a ton here. Super duper thin. We're up 11 now. It's a 17 point play. Decent. <laughs> uh, we're starting to brick though. Ooh, that's really good. We only have two more plays.
Oh, this is infinite reach, doesn't it? Yeah. Why not play Vilgi? I mean, because I don't want to. Like, yeah. I guess. Like, if I have to, I can play Vilgi, I suppose. Why are you guys question marking? Risky play? What's risky? Playing a revenant? No, it's not. All right, we need to find a, 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 a portal. I'm actually scared of Calanthe in a long round. Like I want, I like if I had hit portal there, I, I'd slam portal here. I don't know. Do you think I can hit this? Leader, go deep. Yeah, but if I miss, it's really bad. My top decks are really bad. Best is lock. Good Gwendy card. Best this this. Oh, he's Calanthe. I mean, yeah, okay, sure. I'll play all my cards. I don't care. Where's Doggy? He's not here. Oh, he's down there. Hi, Doggy. I'm here to lend a helping hand. Wanna go up on the bed? My prescription. And I'm assuming I don't have two soldiers. No interest in politics. Dog camera riot? It's literally right here. What do you mean? Alright, well, big question of the day. Um Actually, there's no question. Um, we have two of these on top, which is really bad. So we have to mulligan. Okay. We have to mulligan two cards, and we can't hit Tibor. Easy peasy. Actually, we could just keep this hand. The safe play is just to keep this hand. Zarth is bad, but everything else is fine. Because uh, Vild can't hit either of these. And Yen can't hit either of these. We'll do safe play. You guys don't want to do the safe play? You can mully one? No, I can't mully one. Because if I mully one, both of these brick. If I don't hit portal. Right? Worst case scenario, I hit Tibor and then the special and I lose the game. No, I can't mulligan either. Just hit portal forehead. Yeah, but if I don't, I lose. Stand and fight. I 
I can just play this. Because if we lose a 50-50, we can kill this. to pick up when I'm done with you. Alright. No Your move, sir. Do you have tall removal? That doesn't look very tall. Cool. We lost a 50-50 and still won. It's pretty good. To be tolerated. Ah, yeah, use a Siren Roach. Three combo pieces. I don't really want a mulligan though. Mulligan anyways. Can we buy your puddle? No, it's my puddle. You know what would make this even better? If you listen to it only in your left ear. That would just make it a thousand times better. And then if we put pumpkin in your right ear. And this way, you can get the bo best of both worlds. Pumpkin in the right, music in the left. Feels good, man. Wow, that's actually hurting me, and I don't even hear my own voice. Bloody you need you need the surround sound. I think it's important. Wow, I just got like a little bit nauseous there. That's a good sign. <laughs> All right, bless RNG. Nice. Thank you. That was very kind. This is what I usually listen to. Stay awake, hands up. Hands up? Did I hear hands up? I think I heard a hands up. Anonymous, thank you for the three dollars. What are we gonna listen to? This is our daily uh, hands up. If you don't like Gachi, turn your ears off for three minutes. Go to the bathroom or something. I demand satisfaction now. Oh my gosh. We got 50 seconds. This song is six minutes long. 
All right, get those hands up, boys. Best three dollar investment ever. Yeah. You guys seem to really enjoy this type of thing. Now the question is, is why? Thank you for playing my favorite song of all time, Why Keep a Happy. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits, Quag and Majuk. I'm glad I could make your day a little better. Any Oz in chat? Ah, uh, we need that portal. What are the odds? The problem is if we whiff and hit these two, it's super bad. We need to do this first. <laughs> Solo Twitch guy and Do Leo 360. Thank you guys for the primes. I'm just gonna assume you guys love Gachi. The only reason why you're subbing. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love Gachi? Gaining viewers and subs when you play gachi. Yep. Coincidence? Couldn't possibly be. To arms. We go pretty deep here. By pretty deep, I mean we're going to play one more card and get out. Wow, muted stream is super good. Yeah, if you don't like Gachi, mute. You change leader? Oh, Red Dream? I don't know if you change leader. I just decided to give it a shot. Because all you need to do is add, if you add this, you don't have to play Kelvita anymore. And you can play a better leader. Because you're, you're basically playing, like, Calvi for, like, four points, which is pretty bad. Why do you push round two? Uh, because full test is scary in round three. If it gets a lot of engines ticking, like this. Albrick? Albrick doesn't thin. Is Yen only... Uh, oh, is it a Nilf card only card? No, it's neutral. You can play it in uh, SK discard. 
Okay, do you guys ever have this thing where, like, if you stare at a monitor too long, your vision gets fuzzy? No, no, no. Like, my left eye is completely gone right now. Like, it's just fuzzy. The water bamboo sound thingy, when I turned that on, it just screwed up my left eye. So now my left eye is, like, really fuzzy. So I can't see out of my left eye. It's just, like, a haze. I can see out of my right eye. So that's that's nice, I guess. You dead? No, the solution... I've had this happen before. It's really easy to fix. You just stop looking at a computer. I take, like, a 30-minute nap, and it fixes. But if it doesn't resolve itself, it's just gonna get worse, right? And that's probably not good. Good thing you don't need to see in this game. If we were playing like a shooter game, I'd have to end the stream. Alright, I'll just play with one eye. Nice pirate cosplay, smiley face. <laughs> There'll be Thanks, nothing mate. to pick up when I'm done with you. Thank you for the hundred bits, Quaggin. Pog. Yeah, it's really hard to read. That's why I like reading chat is like very difficult. Like, if you told me to read something right now, I wouldn't be able to do it. I mean, I can do it with my right eye, but my left eye is gone. It's a good thing I already know what all these cards do, and I don't have to read. Wait, that's your final play? Why are you down a card, lad? Doesn't seem very good.